New South Wales and Queensland don't have a mortgage on stunning holiday homes. Australia has 35,000 kilometres of coastline, which means plenty of incredible beachside locations for jaw-dropping luxury accommodation. After most of the year was spent in lockdown for Victorians finally, now it's time to escape. We're happy to pay premium to holiday at home, in a luxury home that is. And in some cases these homes are like mini resorts unto themselves so it's like having complete run of you know, a small boutique hotel or resort for your family and friends which is just fabulous. It sounds pretty good and these houses look incredible but during a luxury stay, it's all about the extras. So they'll bring in toy boxes if you're travelling with small children, arrange the groceries, make sure everything's set up ready for arrival because you know, one of the biggest luxuries is time. So if you can arrive at a property and have it all set up and ready to go, that's probably the best start for, for any stay. Alex Ormerod's the Managing Director of Luxico, Australia's first home hotel. They manage over 300 luxury properties on the East Coast, including this beautiful four-bedroom property in Seaside Portsea, south of Melbourne. It's not bad, is it? Well, can you imagine moving in here and you know, letting the kids run around the backyard and jumping in the pool and you let them run right? After a day at the beach, you come home, there's the barbie over there and a cocktail in hand. It's a pretty good holiday. At this home, privacy is paramount, perfect for celebrity guests who'd rather hide away on holidays. Everyone likes to focus on our celebrity and VIP guests who obviously we, we don't name and we do get the lion's share of when they come into Australia. Um, but to be honest, you know, mums and dads are the, the core of our business. They're paying for it all. So everything's inclusive, obviously, and it just means that you can come, sit down, relax, and just enjoy your holiday with the family. Shay Laurie's the Director of Exclusive Property Management on Victoria's Mornington Peninsula. She manages this five-bedroom, five-bathroom property with panoramic ocean views. This house is amazing, Shay. It is. It's not just the house. On a clear day, you can see the Melbourne skyline. Gosh, it's worth every cent. It is. The resort-like home boasts an infinity pool with two water features. I think having your own space, the pool, you've got a backyard, you've got the beach around the corner, you can't get that in a hotel in the city, so that's the point of difference and that's what makes it so special. But living the high life doesn't come cheap. So for a family, whether it's three generations or you know two families, you're looking at around $18,000 per week. Every state has their standout homes. Down south in Tasmania, it's all about solitude and seclusion at the keep. With 360 degree uninterrupted views, the one bedroom property is truly magical. Perched atop a rock, for around $1,000 a night, you can also bathe in the boulders. On the peaceful banks of the Murray River in South Australia, the frames is luxurious. There are three unique retreats to choose from, private boat tours are available and a personal chef is on hand if that's to your tasting. If ocean views are essential, then Nyko Retreat is located on the coastline of South Australia's Flurio Peninsula. The Ecolux home offers three bedrooms and a secluded beach with private access. In the west, Injured Up Bay House, managed by private properties, is a three-hour drive south of Perth. It features seven glorious bedrooms in five separate buildings with views of the spectacular bay below. You can stay here for around $8,000 for a three-night stay. If you want to soak in the sounds of silence, Ithaca is the perfect rural retreat in the Margaret River region. The secluded four-bedroom holiday home is tucked away in the hills of Yelling Up and feels a world away from anyone else. Back in Victoria and Campbell Point House on the Bellarine Peninsula is a private boutique hotel that offers utmost comfort and luxury. The mansion can sleep up to 30 guests and has a separate lake house and pool house too. You can book out the entire property valued at around $20 million from $12,000 a night. 
for a smaller group across the peninsula, this four bedroom home could be just right. Welcome to 5 Olive Street in Blair Gary, a beautiful big double storey home. Just metres from the marina, it is the perfect escape for a family and sleeps 10. It really is like a resort, so you walk in and you close the door and it's like having your own private compound where you don't really have to leave if you don't want to. Jamie Brewison's the operations manager for Book a Break. She says travellers have booked in early and are willing to spend a little more to secure their perfect holiday home. Yeah, I think just because of the pent up travel demand, everyone's been looking at the same four walls all year and they really want to, you know, splash out and, and enjoy themselves. For those lucky enough to enjoy it, life in a luxury holiday home is the ultimate holiday from heaven. People walk through the front door and they go, wow, and you've arrived. Yeah, wow. The loss of international tourists this year has cost Australia close to $50 billion. So it's terrific to see Aussies spending up big to holiday at home. There's more on those properties and a special deal for our current affair viewers on our website.